Hey guys and welcome to my channel. This is my first video of rebuilding the 2013 Audi S6. So as you guys can see I got most of my parts here now. I decided to go all OEM parts just because I mean it's a lot more expensive. But then the fitment is good, the quality is there, and then if anything I have warranty on these parts so it should be all good. Um, in here, as you guys can see, I got the windshield, because the windshield on this beast is, has, is cracked and I need one for the inspection once it's done. Anyways, before I start approach to tell you guys what happened, I bought this car from a salvage auction. As you guys can see, it was involved in the front end damage. My guess is they hit a pole or some sort of sign. Need a new hood, um, hood obviously. A new bumper, both headlights, rat support, We've got a new rat support here, fan assembly, we need a new one, reinforcement bar, those two fan extensions which the reinforcement bar mounts onto, uh, AC condenser, radiator, and then under that radiator, in front of that radiator, radiator, there's another radiator, a small one, not sure why we got two of them, but whatever um still waiting on some parts should be here by next week anyways i can i can show you guys what's broken this oil cooler got damaged right here if you can see crushed it but got a brand new one in here from audi not cheap definitely not cheap and also this roller here from the ac condenser this roller to crankshaft is broken i'm Getting one tomorrow morning. New roller, new belt, obviously. And uh, yeah, after I get this roller, the belt, I'll swap these parts out quick. I'm gonna do the oil, uh, oil cooler as well. Then I'm gonna do an oil change on this car. And then I'm gonna keep going on with the fan assembly. I was waiting for that actually for a while. This is not a cheap part right there, guys. This is really expensive. <laughs> I got this one actually from a wrecker in Vancouver. He gave me kind of a discount, but still a lot of money for that. Because Audi couldn't get the whole assembly, I would have to buy each piece, which would add up to way more. So I just decided to go with a used piece. And, uh, um, well, I get the tensioner, the belt, the oil cooler all swapped, new ones. I'll be starting with the rat support. Put the rat support in. Put this on the radiator, which is in here, the new radiator, and here we got the AC condenser and the rat support was in here, and in here, big box, we got the hood for this vehicle. So it's actually not, not a lot of damage, I was just surprised why they wrote it off, I think it's just because the parts are expensive for this car, that's why the insurance company decided to write it off. There's not a lot of damage actually. The airbags didn't go off, I can show you guys. This guy this car is really beautiful from the inside. The airbags didn't go off, it's all good. Seat belts, all good. So yeah. All it needs is a front end basically. And this fender had some damage. I so I posted in posted a video on my Instagram how I fixed this fender. Still need to weld it up. There's a little bit of a crack right here. It's an aluminum panel, so it shouldn't be that hard to fix, uh, to weld up, sorry. Um, right now I'm gonna take off the hood probably. And I also got new hinges, just because the hood, the way it sits, sits pretty low here. So I'm thinking, well I know the hinges are broken, or bent, yeah. And the hood sits way over too. Um, I'm going to be starting with that right now, take the hood off, swap the hinges, put the new hood on, fit everything up once I get it down. I got new headlights as well. Headlights, very, very, very expensive for this vehicle. It's actually kind of crazy how how much a headlight is, just, just one headlight, it's insane actually. Um, yeah, the guys, no frame damage to it, that's good. So it's, like I said, it's just all the radiator, condenser. Rat support, fan assembly, reinforcement bar. Some people call it rebar, reinforcement bar, same thing. 
all that just got damaged. The old parts are all in the trailer over there. So I'm gonna have to dig them out now. Make sure they're all the same parts. Um, but they should be all the same because I got them ordered by the VIN number. So they're for this car. Um, after I get it all fitted up in the hood and everything. Oh, my bumper's not here, guys. I ordered an RS6 bumper for this vehicle because I just like, I have to get a new bumper anyway, so I just decided to get an RS6 bumper. Looks more aggressive, I find, and why not? <laughs> so I'm waiting on the bumper. As soon as I get the bumper, the whole car will be going to the paint shop. I'm gonna have a little bit of body filler just right here to fill up the little low spot here. They're gonna, and then I'll prime it, feather edge it, feather edge it, prime it, and then I'm gonna send it to paint shop. I'm gonna get the hood innered first because the hood is actually painted from the inside. It's just a base coat with no clear coat. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna get that done. Get it to the paint shop. They're gonna paint the inside of the hood. I'll put the hood on the big. Um, as while they're painting the inside, they're also gonna paint my hinges. And once that is done, I'll be putting the hood back onto the vehicle, fit it 100%, and then they're gonna paint the outside of the hood. Um, here, I'll show you. They're gonna be painting the outside of the hood, and to get the best color match between the fender and the hood, they're just gonna be paint blending into this fender. Like that, like so. And same thing with the other side. The other side has no damage to the fender. It does, however, have 3M wrap on here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I'll be taking this off by the way too. And then they're just gonna be scuff this with probably 600, 800 grit. And then they're just gonna blend it in here so the cut you can't, so you won't be able to see a color difference between those two panels. Yes, once that is done, oh, oh sorry, they'll also be painting the bumper at the same time. And then it's just reassembly, basically. But before it goes to the paint shop, I'll be having it running. I mean, the car runs no matter what. I just don't have it running without the, what's it called, radiator on. Once that is all on, headlights are in, and then it's just reassembly, which is really quick for this car. It's nothing major. Yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. And sorry if this is a lame video, it's my first video, so forgive me. <laughs> okay, see you guys. up new oil coolers all in nice and tight new upper rad hoses in really easy one to do this was easy to fix to uh, replace and fix um yeah tomorrow I'll be getting this new tensioner or idler or whatever you want to call it new one of those new belt and and um I'll be changing that tomorrow and then I'll, tomorrow I'll start reassembling it. Hopefully I can get it running. I mean, it runs anyways. And drive it. So yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.